Hello again. Yeah, last time we found out that Ruth and Naomi were pleased about what had happened at the threshing floor. Boaz had shown interest in Ruth, but it couldn't go beyond that until he cleared it with the eldest guardian redeemer in the family. So we're off to the city gate. It's time for Boaz to negotiate. So Boaz went to the gate of the city, a common meeting place for those living in Bethlehem. And there he met the other kinsman redeemer, the one that Boaz had spoken of to Ruth. Boaz was committed to resolving the question as to who rightly should acquire Elimelech's land and, more importantly, who should become Ruth's kinsman. In his heart, he cared for Ruth, but according to the custom of the day, he could not pursue her as he was not the closest living relative of Elimelech. His heart's desire could wither away here at the city gate. An important meeting such as this deserved a proper hearing by Bethlehem's most respected elders. None of them knew it, but they were about to witness a decision which would affect the future of all Israel. Boy's good standing in the community couldn't help him here, nor could his wealth. It was all in the hands of the Lord. Naomi, she has come here to Moab. She wants to take the land of the land of Elimelech, the king. I'm going to take her. I'm going to take her to the land of 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 the land. אלימלך היה תמיד איש טוב, אדמתו הייתה עשירה ופוריה, כן, אני אגאל אותה. Uh-oh, it looks like this eldest brother is interested. But then again, he doesn't have all the facts, because along with the land comes a young lady named Ruth, who anxiously awaits the outcome. Stay with us as the plot thickens. See you next time.